and I'm just getting like an awful application with this. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kim, and if you're a fellow beauty lover into all things hair, makeup, and skincare, then you've come to the right place. So make sure that you stick around and join the Cam fam by hitting that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to hit the bell too so that you don't miss any videos. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review and wear test of a brand new foundation. It's actually from one of my favorite brands, and it's the new It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. Now I already own every single It Cosmetics foundation product, plus the concealer, plus the powder, and they have a lot of foundation products in their range already. They've already got the regular CC cream, the matte version, the illumination version, and their Bye Bye foundation. Now I would say a common denominator between all of those is that they're pretty much full coverage, and that's why I was really excited when this came out, because this is supposed to be medium coverage, and I'm actually on the hunt right now for like an everyday foundation product that doesn't quite offer as much coverage as the It Cosmetics CC Cream does, which I would normally use on an everyday basis. So recently, I've really just been wearing like a tinted sunscreen from Paula's Choice on the daily, but I'd like something where I can incorporate some blush and bronzer maybe, which I don't feel like I can do with my current tinted sunscreen because it barely provides any coverage. So ideally, I'd like something kind of in the middle of that. And that's where I'm hoping this is gonna come in. Now, a couple things to note about this product. Right off the bat, I'm gonna show you guys. This does contain chemical-only sunscreens. And I actually didn't realize that about this because all of their other products use physical sunscreens like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which I prefer because chemical sunscreens are known to be endocrine disruptors. I actually used to use chemical sunscreens like way back in the day and I had a bunch of like hormonal acne around my chin and jawline that just would not go away. And once I stopped using the chemical sunscreens, my skin like 180'd as far as breakouts go. So I really don't like chemical sunscreens and I can't help but wonder like why It Cosmetics would all of a sudden switch to chemical sunscreens when they're also just known to cause irritation like I have rosacea as you guys can clearly see. And because of like the irritation factor of chemical sunscreens, I also don't prefer them when dealing with my skin condition. And I don't know if this is relating to the fact that they did use the chemical sunscreen in this, but it's also SPF 40, where all the other products in their line are SPF 50. Now they say this has a brightening glow serum in it, which I assume is where they got the name Nude Glow from. And they also claim that it's 90% skincare based and it has 2% niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and green tea extract. But I feel like their other foundation products are already very skincare based. If you take a look at the ingredients, they try to make them very soothing and just very good for your skin because all their products are already developed with the help of plastic surgeons and dermatologists. And a lot of their marketing targets people with rosacea like me. So I already saw all the products as already kind of like being skincare based. But I guess they're claiming that this product has more skincare ingredients than their other offerings. Okay, I wanna zoom you guys in like really close so you can see all my pores and everything while I'm applying this, any sort of wrinkles that I may have, so you can really see like how this looks on the skin. I'm gonna be using the shade Light because that's the same shade that I use in like all their other foundations, so I'm hoping it's gonna be a good match for me. I did self tan a little bit. My face is like a little bit different of a color than the rest of me, and I'm hoping this matches. I want to do kind of like a half and half thing. So on this half of my face, I'm gonna use a brush. And on this half of my face, I'm gonna use a sponge. Even though I normally wouldn't use a sponge for like any of the It Cosmetics foundations, I just feel like it shears them out too much. It really absorbs them a lot, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start with one pump on this side. And I'm gonna blend it out with my It Cosmetics brush. I think that It Cosmetics brushes really work the best with these because they're just really like soft. They don't irritate your skin. I particularly will get a lot of redness if a brush is really like rough. So as I'm applying foundation before, I would like be creating more redness than was there originally, but not with this brush. So right off the bat, I feel like that did give a decent amount of coverage. I can still see some of my redness peeking through, but I don't necessarily think that this side would look bad with makeup applied on top of it. I do want to see how much I can build this up, 
I feel like I would probably call this medium coverage, but let's see how full coverage we can get this. So I'm going to do another pump. And I want to like take this on my eyelid and under eye as well so that way I don't really need to apply concealer because I don't want concealer interfering with this. So with the second pump that I normally wouldn't do with like my Bye Bye foundation or the regular CC cream, I do think that covered up quite a bit of the redness. I think it's much more full coverage now. So let's see what happens with the sponge side. I'm going to grab another pump. My skin is like exceptionally red and irritated today. So this is a really good test for this. Normally I feel like my rosacea doesn't look so bad. And today my skin is just freaking out. I'm hot. It's a really good test for this foundation. I feel like this is not applying very well with the sponge. It's very patchy. The sponge is absorbing a lot of the product. And I'm just getting like an awful application with this. By the way, the scent on this is very similar to all the other It Cosmetics foundations. I feel like it has like a slight citrusy scent to it. So that may or may not be your thing. It's definitely not unscented by any means. I'm going to apply another pump. But yeah, this first application was just like, I feel like I applied nothing on the skin. So that's looking a little better, but I just want to show you guys that this is two pumps with a brush, this is two pumps with the sponge, and I don't feel like they look quite the same. I feel like with the sponge side, there's just a lot of the product was absorbed and it's having a harder time spreading, I feel like, especially by my jaw. It just feels like the sponge is not spreading it out very well. So I'm going to do another pump on the sponge side and see if I can't get the coverage out of it that I did on the brush side. Okay, Another pump. I'm going to try to apply some right there specifically. Now we've got three pumps on the sponge side, two pumps on the brush side. I still feel like the sponge just wants to absorb everything. I really don't recommend applying these with a sponge if that's your thing because ugh, I don't like the way this is spreading. I think the two sides are maybe looking a little more even now. So I'm going to go ahead and set a little bit with powder, not too much. Again, I don't want to apply any concealer to mess with this in any sort of way. And I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder to set like just under my eyes, around my nose, chin, forehead a little bit. But I'm going to leave the perimeter of my face unpowdered. And generally I wouldn't do that. I would want to like kind of powder everything. But I do want to give a fair comparison of what it looks like powdered and not powdered. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Now on the sponge side, I would assume that if you're going to use a sponge to apply your foundation, you're probably going to use a sponge to apply powder as well. So I'm going to pick up the powder on the sponge and set it with that. So 
that took down a little bit of the shine not too much we're still looking really fresh and for the brush side I'm gonna use what I would normally use to set my face which is like one of these makeup puffs from Amazon so I'm gonna grab some powder on that set under my eye my nose and a little on the forehead now as far as the glow serum aspect of this I do feel like I'm looking a little dewier than I would with like the regular CC cream I've used the illumination one before and I do feel like that one was a little more like glittery maybe and it probably turned some people off this definitely doesn't have any glitter in it whatsoever and it's giving the skin like a really nice healthy glow now I'm gonna finish off my makeup and I want to try to do it in the way that I would like to be doing it every day something that takes like 10 minutes just like some bronzer blush eyes that's it so I'm gonna go do that and then come back to show you guys how it's looking with makeup on top all right I basically just finished off my face with some blush and bronzer the way that I kind of want to do it on an everyday basis and I think everything's looking pretty good and fresh I will say I do feel like I should have put concealer because I do feel like my under eyes could stand to be brightened a little bit but overall it's not looking too bad so now I'm gonna check in with you guys let's see at this point it's one o'clock so I'll probably check in around midday and then I don't think I can go any later till 8 because I generally go to sleep at 9 so I'm gonna check in with you guys at 8 and see how we're doing it's four o'clock now so it's time for a midday check-in and in the meantime I've kind of just been doing stuff around the house I actually just made dinner because it's kind of late for lunch and early for dinner so I was working over like a hot pan boiling pasta and then I ate seafood pasta with olive oil so there was plenty of steam involved and opportunity to make a mess and honestly it's not looking too bad the biggest difference I would actually say and this kind of goes as a testament to why I prefer usually using things like brushes to do my makeup I feel like the brush side is definitely looking better than the sponge side for whatever reason this is always like my oiliest area right by the nose as you can see evidenced by this side it's just super shiny there it's not looking too bad on this side and as for the perimeters of my face I would say they're pretty even I'm seeing a little bit more glow on my forehead on this side maybe on my chin a little bit but otherwise they're pretty similar now I think I forgot to mention this earlier in the video but just for reference I do have combination skin and they do say that this product is best for I believe dry normal and combination skin it's not recommended for oily skin because of the glow factor but my nose and chin specifically tend to get super oily throughout the day to where it's almost unmanageable and the rest of my skin is like really dry and tight always hence the combination skin aspect of it and I feel like this is handling the oils that I normally get really well especially considering I was just standing over a steaming pot of pasta <laughs> like after that I normally look like I came out of a sauna so I think it's handling the oils pretty well actually and the rest of my face being dry and tight usually actually feels really comfortable and like flexible and movable so that's good I'm gonna wait probably until around 8 to do the final check-in so we'll see how this holds up <sighs> oh, woo okay made it to 8 o'clock it's actually a little past 8 it's exactly 818 actually I was not kidding when I told you that my nose and chin get really oily this is really sad looking at the end of the day but still I think that the brush side definitely held up better than the sponge side which is kind of crazy I didn't realize that would make that big of a difference because I've never done like a brush sponge side test before and on the brush side you can definitely see some oiliness peeking through around my nose I mean it would have needed to be powdered anyway but the rest of my face still looks good obviously on this side there's a lot more oiliness going on but my forehead's not looking too bad and the sides of my face held up pretty well I would say now normally I would definitely set the rest of my face anyway because I can still kind of like Feel that it's a little tacky but not so much on the forehead because I did put powder bronzer there to summarize my thoughts on this it cosmetics CC nude glow foundation I'm obviously very upset at the fact that it's got chemical sunscreen I can't believe I fell for that I just assumed that it would have 
mineral sunscreen because the rest of the it cosmetics products do i'm obviously still going to use it up because i did end up getting it but i think that as far as a really nice everyday foundation i think this is great in terms of coverage but also still looking like skin it definitely feels very weightless i don't feel like it's settled into pores or like looks bad Obviously, there's the issue of oiliness, so if you're somebody who's on the oilier side, just know that they didn't make this for oily skin, so you may need to powder a lot more than you're used to, but it does give a really nice glow in a very, like, not glittery, chunky, like, weird way. It just looks like healthy skin, which I really like. And I generally find that the IT Cosmetics foundations are pretty long lasting. The brush side looks like what I'm used to from the regular CC cream in terms of like longevity, it not settling anywhere or separating. So it definitely holds up well, except of course with oil, it's gonna start, you know, looking oily, but I don't feel like it's breaking it down too much. Maybe a little bit underneath my nose, but I also did like rub there during the day. So that might explain it. I'm curious to know which one of like the It Cosmetics CC foundations is your favorite. So leave me a comment down below and let me know. I just kind of want to see like what's the most popular one. And please take a second to hit that like button down below if you found this video helpful because I'd be really excited to do more of these foundation wear tests for you guys and I want to know whether you're into them or not. And if you're in the mood to watch some more videos, then I'm going to leave a couple on the screen for you to check out and click on my face right here to subscribe and join the cam fam if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'm an oily mess right now, but it's okay. I'm going to go wash my face, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.